to know i would like to explain about the inductance mutual inductance quotient of coupling definitions and the inductance of a solenoid and a toroid so first one inductance it is also called as self inductance and it is defined as the ratio of the total flux linkages to the current flowing to the same circuit it is called inductance it is represented by l units are henrys so inductance l equals to flux linkages by current here m by flux linkages it is represented by psi units are henrys so the inductance is also known as self inductance of the circuit okay next one the mutual inductance so consider two different circuits with self inductances l1 and l2 are kept close to each other so these are the two circuits or two coils first coil voltage v1 current i1 second coil voltage v2 second coil current i2 here four magnetic fluxes are produced so first one pi11 pi22 next to pi12 next one pi21 so first one pi11 so pi11 the magnetic flux produced by the coil 1 this is coil 1 and it is coil 2 so pi11 is the magnetic flux produced by the coil 1 and it links with the coil 1 so next to pi22 so this is the second coil flux and it links with the second coil so next one pi12 okay, this is pi12 so the flux produced by the coil 1 and it links with the second coil so next to similarly pi21 the flux produced by the second coil and it links with the first coil so four magnetic fluxes pi11 pi12 pi22 and pi21 the first one pi11 flux produced by the i1 and it links with the coil 1 next to pi22 flux produced by the i2 and it links with the coil 2 so next to pi12 flux produced by the i1 so i1 means first coil current and it links with the coil 2 so similarly pi21 flux produced by the i2 and it links with the coil 1 so next the mutual inductance is defined as the flux linkages of one circuit to current in other circuit self inductance case the flux linkages of circuit to current in same circuit is self inductance the flux linkages in one circuit to current in other circuit is called mutual inductance so the mutual inductance is represented by capital m here m12 is the mutual inductance between first coil to second coil so it equals to flux linkages of coil 1 by current in coil 2 so one coil flux linkages to other coil current is mutual inductance here flux linkages of coil 1 by current in coil 2 is called mutual inductance between first and second coil so m12 equals to so first coil flux linkages so first coil number of turns into pi21 here pi21 is second coil flux that links with the first coil so next to i2 so i2 is second coil current it produces the second coil flux so finally m12 equals to n1 pi21 by i2 so similarly the mutual inductance m21 is given by flux linkages of coil 2 by current in coil 1 so second coil flux linkages due to first coil current equals to n2 into pi12 divided by i1 so this pi12 magnetic flux produced by the i1 current okay so m21 equals to flux oh, flux linkages of coil 2 n2 into pi12 divided by coil 1 current equals to i1 so pi12 magnetic flux produced by the i1 current only here also pi21 magnetic flux produced by i2 current so the region between the two coils is linear if the two coils are present in a linear medium then m12 equals to m21 equals to m so mutual inductance units are henrys so next one quotient of coupling it is represented by k it is a constant value so in the above circuit inductance l1 equals to l1 pi11 by i1 and l2 equals to second coil self inductance value n2 pi22 by i2 so pi12 equals to so pi12 is so part of the first coil flux that links with the second coil so pi12 equals to part of the first coil flux it equals to k1 into pi11 so similarly pi22 pi21 equals to k2 into pi22 okay, we know that m12 equals to n1 pi21 by i2 so pi21 equals to k2 into pi22 so m12 equals to n1 k2 pi22 by i2 and m21 equals to n2 pi12 by i1 or it equals to n2 k1 pi11 by i1 so for a linear medium m12 equals to m21 equals to m 
So by multiplying these two expressions, m square equals to m1 t into m21, it equals to n1 k2 pi 2 2 by i2 into n2 k1 pi 1 1 by i1 and m square equals to k1 k2 n1 pi 1 1 by i1 n2 pi 2 2 by i2 it equals to k1 into k2 l1 into l2 so m equals to root of k1 into k2 l1 l2 for a linear medium k1 into k1 equals to k2 equals to k so k1 into k2 equals to k square root of k square equals to k so k into root l1 l2 and finally k equals to m by root l1 l2 here k is called quotient of coupling so for a tightly coupled circuit k value equals to 1 so k value is a constant value this value always less than 1 it is having no units so inductance by inductance so quotient of coupling units are no units so next one the equivalent inductance formulas so in magnetic circuits there are four connections so first one series aiding connection next one series opposing connection next one parallel aiding connection next one parallel opposing connection so if two magnetic circuits so coupled together and assume the inductance of the first coil l1 inductance of the second coil l2 the mutual inductance between the two coils equals to m if the two coils are connected in series aiding connection then l equivalent equals to l1 plus l2 plus 2m units are henry's okay similarly when two magnetic circuits so coupled together in series opposing connection if self inductances l1 and l2 mutual inductance m then the equivalent inductance l equivalent equals to l1 plus l2 minus 2m henry's so next in parallel aiding connection l equivalent formula l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 minus 2m in parallel opposing connection l equivalent equals to l1 l2 minus m square by l1 plus l2 plus 2m a series aiding connection formula series opposing connection formula parallel aiding connection formula parallel opposing connection equivalent inductance formula the next one the inductance of a solenoid derivation so consider a solenoid having n number of turns and the current flowing to the solenoid equals to y length of the solenoid equals to l area of the solenoid equals to a meter square so consider a solenoid of n number of turns let the current flowing to the solenoid i amperes let the length of the solenoid i am length of the solenoid l this is not i l meters and we know that the magnetic field intensity due to solenoid equals to h bar equals to ni by l amperes per meters in inductance derivation so first we have to write the magnetic field intensity expression so next by using magnetic field intensity so find b bar expression next by using b bar expression find pi expression next find flux linkages flux linkages equals to n into pi so finally the inductance equals to flux linkages by current so by using that formula we can derive the inductance formula so first write the magnetic field intensity expression the magnetic field intensity of a solenoid h bar equals to ni by l amperes per meters so next find magnetic flux density the relation between flux density and field intensity b equals to mu into h so mu into ni by l so next to find magnetic flux okay, relation pi equals to b into a so it equals to mu into ni by l into a next to find flux linkages flux linkages equals to psi psi equals to n into pi so n into pi equals to mu into ni by a l it equals to mu into n square into i a by l so finally the inductance of a solenoid l equals to flux linkages by current flux linkages by current so flux linkages equals to mu into n square i into a by l divided by i it equals to mu into n square into a by l the self inductance of a solenoid equals to mu into n square a by l units are henry's so next one the inductance of a toroid this is one toroid okay, assume the number of turns equals to n current equals to i and the mean radius equals to r meters okay, same we know that the magnetic field intensity due to toroid equals to ni by 2 pi r so find b expression relation b equals to mu into h so it equals to mu into ni by 2 pi r okay, next one magnetic flux pi pi equals to b into a so it equals to mu into ni by 2 pi r into a the flux linkages i equals to n into pi so n into pi it equals to mu into n square into i a by 2 pi r 
So next one the self inductance, the self inductance L equals to flux linkages by current, flux linkages equals to mu into n square into i a by 2 pi r divided by i, here i i cancel, so it equals to mu into n square into a by 2 pi r. The self inductance of a toroid L equals to mu into n square a by 2 pi r in this. Okay, the self inductance of a solenoid equals to mu into n square a by l, the inductance of a toroid equals to mu into n square a by 2 pi r. So, inductance units are Henry's. Okay, here first one inductance, inductance formula psi by i, next one mutual inductance. So, mutual inductance equals to flux linkages of one circuit by current in other circuit. So, two mutual inductances m1 to and m21 units are Henry's. Next one quotient of coupling, quotient of coupling k equals to m by root l1 l2. So next equivalent inductance formulas, series heading connection, series opposing connection, parallel heading connection, parallel opposing connection. Okay, next one, the solenoid inductance derivation. So inductance of a solenoid L equals to mu into n square by A by L. So next one inductance of a toroid, mu into n square A by 2 pi R Henry's.